Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In today tutorial, we will be cover how to configure the online table control in the WinCC SCADA. This tutorial is designed for the beginners. So, if you are the new to SCADA system or WinCC, you are in the right place. So, let's start with the basic. First, we will go over the what online table control is and why it's important for the monitoring real-time data in the SCADA system. Online table control is a powerful feature in the WinCC SCADA that allow you to display and manage real-time data in the table format. It's especially useful for the keeping track for the multiple variables and alarm in the organized way. So in this tutorial, uh, in this table, each of the row represent a different process or the machine, while the each column can display specific variable, uh, such as uh, you can see here the level. If the multiple column is there, so it will represent like multiple variable like level, temperature, pressure, system status. So let's start how we can configure the table uh, con uh, table control inside the WinCC SCADA. So uh, this uh, project we already created in our previous tutorial. So we'll use the same one. So first step, you have to add a tags inside uh, your uh, historian or database. So for that, we will open the tag logging. So come here in the tag login, then archive, then the process value archive, right click, add a new process value archive. And here I will just put the mode bus. You can put any name. After that, in the process tag, you have to select tag which all the tags you want to see in the table. For example, uh, in this tutorial, I'm selecting just level. And after that, here, uh, the historization of tag multiple method is there. In the coming up next video, we will see these are all multiple methods. For this, uh, this tutorial, we will just select the cyclic. So after every time fair time interval that i will select it from here for example one second so uh, it will historize tag value one every one second inside the database so that's it just keep remain other all setting default and then just close it after that open the graphic designer then open the level table so here First, uh, you have to uh, set the width 1000 and the height of uh, this picture is 500. And then uh, click here the online table control. And then just according to your picture resolution, just paste it there. And I will just readjust a little bit. Okay, fine. So then right click and then come in the configuration dialog. Just select it. Okay. In the general tab, we'll, we will never want this title that is upside WinCC control table is appearing. So I will just put it none, apply. So as you can see the title is removed now. Okay, then I also never want in the uh, later stages somebody just uh, resize the table. So I will uncheck the, this sizable. Okay. After that, we'll come here in the effects. So first of all, uh, you can see this some yellowish gray color upper and lower uh, upper side and left side color is there so I, I just want to change that color to my theme color so for that I will just again open 
come in effect and here I can select my theme color and press OK and click apply OK and after that I want to change the uh, font color into white color so select and apply so as you can see this color is changed now okay and then again come here in the configure dialog box so some of the other properties I also want to change for example this uh, line color so that is background is right now this background color is uh, like white is there so I will just change it background color white and I will put any of the color for example it's light okay I will put this one and similar manner line 2 I will also put some dark shade just apply okay so it's just differentiation between lines okay then I will put the font color inside the line should be white and here also font should be white okay and okay and after that um, we'll come here in the time column and here you can see it's mentioning the time column one I wa just want to change the name I can put just date and time okay and the time here in this column the that I want to just show in the white color okay apply and the column value in the column value as you can see value uh, value column one so here my level that I will come and as you can see here tag name we have to select tag name in this column column uh, is li link with which tag just apply so as you can see it's uh, if and uh, okay fine if you align for example in the uh, your value in center you can also align in center also okay fine so after that like come here in the toolbar and I will select the option like export data and time range already selected fine ok apply and click ok save it and run the project so as you can see here uh, our data is coming perfectly so just this level uh, color I just want to change from black to green so I will go back and I will just close it
so right click and configuration dialog box and then value column and select it from here the green color press ok save it now once you open so as you can see data is coming in the green color so you can actually like do any of the uh, you can put it any color up to you okay so now uh, here like in the top we have some of the like options like if I want to uh, like check data of the some previous suppose for example 10 minutes so I can just select I put it here time range 10 minutes and press ok and if I will stop it so I can go back and navigate in the previous time duration data for example if I want to uh, one day I want to get the data of the one day so or for example three o'clock not one day I just want two hours back data so I will put it here like three zero 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 okay and I will put the AM so my start date is 3 a.m. and the end date is 5 a.m. so press ok so as you can see now you will get if you have the previous time duration data you will get it okay and similar ma uh, manner if you want to like export or print this data you can do it for example if I will do export and I will put it table export one and I will select the my destination desktop click OK so here this is a table export if you open it so here you will get all of the data that you are getting here same data you will get it in the CSV format and you can uh, use it in uh, or you can uh, take this data in the ex, uh, Excel format and you can utilize this data so that's it for today so alhamdulillah we learn in this tutorial video how we can uh, configure the table and how we can uh, customize the table and how uh, we can historize the tag inside the Vincent Scala thanks for watching this video